Welcome back to the channel people. I'm going to do a video here of some tips to help people play online. Mainly aimed at people that have just started out playing online instead of single player. So, <coughs> in no particular order. Number one is, is your, kind of your infantry, how you set up your infantry. So, don't ever really do this where you've got them all grouped together. Try and spread them out. Kind of like that. Uh, main reason being mortars, artillery, grenades, that type of thing will take out 80 or 90 percent of a squad, or maybe even all of it, very quickly. Unless they're like that, when they're nice and spread, you can um, survive a lot longer. That's keeping your resources banked up a little bit, so you don't have to keep replenishing infantry. So, as I said, someone good. This isn't the best example because it's quite open. But just to, you know, make you realise someone will come in, direct control, grenade, boom. They'll kill, you know, a lot of damage there, a lot of um, people need healing up a lot. But mainly that would kill a lot more, to be fair. But don't, as I said, don't do that. Try and spread them out as much as possible like this. So that is number one. Number two, we're going to go over here. <clears throat> so I've got a toad cannon here, pack 40. Just going to turn that around. Oh. So what you really... <clears throat> oh, who's that? What you'd really want to do... <clears throat> so if I drop it off... Uh, I'm going to combine that in with the officer actually. So the officer you can use, which is it, not always advisable. Because if you lose it, you, you don't want to get it killed. But use binoculars like this. Uh, sorry, one second. Oh. So, you know, you can reveal the grey areas of the map like that as I'm looking around. So if I actually move him here. So say if there's an enemy there and you can't see him. And he can't see you. You bring up your officer and it highlights the area and you can see on the mini map as well so doing so you know you are in range of your gun even though without your officer there you can't see it so that's very important actually uh, but you have to be careful because if you lose the officer you know that isn't good at all so that that's that's one and a half so the other part of this one is keep your truck always as close as to your artillery as possible so if you're him you shoot and you miss or someone shoots you back and kills your inventory you can quickly get onto the uh, like the tow position and then leave like that and then drive off so that's very important actually uh, that's number that's two so those two little points there uh, Moving on to number three is your positioning of your units in terms of things like tanks. So if your enemy if your enemy is say over here or something like that, um, and they, they might not even know you're there, peep out like this, shoot, and then come back like that. And once you've reloaded, or just nearly reloaded, go back out, shoot, and go back again. That's highly advisable. So that, that would obviously count for anything. So if you're here, wherever, don't try not to sit in an open field um, unless you don't have a choice. Always try to keep behind something. But if you do that, <coughs> make sure you have infantry around a little bit. So maybe one bloke there, one bloke there, as much as possible. Just because someone will creep up on you with a anti-tank unit and probably kill it. So you have to have to be careful there. Um, right. So that was number three. Number four is... Oh, my fucking knee hurts, man. I don't know what I've done. I woke up this morning and my knee just hurts. And it's really sensitive. Anyway. Number four is... 
wait for it. <clears throat> it's quite a similar ish to this one. It's the basically you try and use your infantry to you know to their strengths. So for example, this bloke's got an MG forty two. You're not gonna put the MG forty two here, right up against say where the enemy are. You'd put him back here. And also if you press K you can see exactly what you've got. Um, so if I just quickly spread these out like that, it's now I press K again because it's now on group. That's that's the only thing. So wait until they're in a position like that, and then press K. But it, obviously in game you want to do this quickly. So like this, he's a rifle. You're not going to put your rifle up front. So you may, maybe put him there. This bloke who's got a, a machine gun. You know, maybe put him a little bit closer in, in case someone tries rushing with some sort of grenade. But the MG42, put him there, for example, so he can cover all that space. And I think there's another one. There's another one here, maybe here. So in that case, you've got these two positions covered. Um, and these ones, you know, you'll, you'll get a lot of grenades, say, coming from here or infantry in this section. Don't put your rifles there, put your machine gunners. So that rifle, there's a rifleman there, maybe moving back a little bit. So just position your infantry to, to what their strengths are. Um, otherwise, you'll lose them quite quickly. So if you put your MG42 up front and your rifles up front, you know, it's, it's a silly idea. So that's number four. Number five is... So this bloke's dead. So let me just kill him. Right. He's dead. But this bloke's only got a rifle. This bloke, he's actually got a, a better gun. So you come in here. Pick up, pick up. I think you can... Right, so I've, I've picked up his MG42. I'm going to equip, equip it. And now you're, you know, you're up and running again. So that's that's very important because these these guns can, you know, kill a lot of infantry. So that's, that is definitely one to do. So that is number five. Right, number six. Number six would be use your smokes. So in that location as well, but for example, let me just run out over here. <coughs> so, da, 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 da. Come on. All right, let me just do it here. So if you're here and the enemy is say here and they're dug in with foxholes and stuff and you want to attack it one thing you, i tend to do is lay down press f5 and click where you want to go so if you do it like that they will crawl forward until they hit the enemy and then they'll start shooting otherwise if you just click they're obviously going to keep going even though they get shot so you press f5 and they'll stop once they get into contact do smokes like this. And loads of smokes like that. So in that case you're now you'll stand a lot better chance of surviving a lot longer and taking a position. So yeah, that is important. So as you can see, if you're the enemy, you can't really see what's going on. And that that counts for everything though. So if you've got a infantry round where this tank, smoke the tank. If you've got infantry even here, you know, as soon as there's fire from this direction or anywhere, smoke like that. So that is number five, I think that was. Number six. Number six is using the flamethrower. So only use this with smokes. So run in like this. So smoke first. Go in direct control mode, it's the best. And Wait till your smoke is nice and thick, like that. And then... Obviously, you, you would do this further up. So, if the, the smoke's like here, a little bit further. And just start setting everything alight. Don't get me wrong, you will die. Um, sometimes relatively quickly. But try and get as much damage in as possible. But as I said, do it in the smoke. Don't do it without smoke. Um, unless, you know... Unless you can get away with it, but mainly do it in the smoke. Um, so I think that was 
six. Uh, number seven would be your, say, hotkeys. So if I just got a squad out, I'm not massively onto the hotkeys. Uh, I know a lot of people are. So the, basically the ones I've got is if I want this person to chuck a grenade on my mouse, I just click this button and it chucks a grenade. I click another button and it does a smoke like that and then back to a grenade. You know, so if I wanted to say chuck multiple grenades in this area, what you can do is say select the whole squad and grenade, 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 like that. And they're all going to chuck grenades at once. Well, one after each other, because you are doing it in. So if they're, <coughs> you know, if the enemy, so if you're running up here, say the enemy are laying down, because there's too many of you and they don't want to die. Uh, go on you, set your hotkey, so one there, one there, there's one up behind there, and there's one up behind there. And then, they're going to chuck their grenades. Uh, they didn't chuck for some reason. Oh, they did. Okay. So, yeah, that, that's very important, actually. Um, otherwise, we spend a lot of time messing around, you know, with grenades. So you, you need to be quick. Uh, so I think that was number seven. Uh, I think, do you know what? There's, probably, there's a lot more, but we're just going to leave that there for now. So there, those are some basics um, that what you want to do. Don't get me wrong that those hotkeys there's a lot more to it than just that that's what i've got set up but yeah that can go into a lot more detail but i'm just going to leave it there i'm going to make this quick uh and not mess around so that's it thanks for watching gg